Two years after they were turned down, Paragon Development is back in the spotlight. The company has armed itself with a new casino proposal for downtown Vancouver, this time without an expansion in gaming. Greg Harper is live in downtown Vancouver this morning with more. Greg. Kyle, you could say this is the second kick at the can for a Paragon development. Uh, behind me right now, an empty parking lot. To my left, some fencing surrounding some construction equipment. It may end up looking quite a bit different here in the near future. Paragon has a, another proposal, and this is a large one, a $535 million project that would include two luxury hotels, restaurants, a conference center, and a new home for the Edgewater Casino. And that's where the controversy continues to be. The city the city rejected Paragon's last proposal, that was in 2011. This was because of a, a, a large public outcry over plans to expand the casino. But Paragon says this time is different. Its partners saying this proposal addresses concerns within the community. This complex is going to attract a, a very significant high net worth uh, clientele that's coming to look to Vancouver, whether it be for major events that are going on, whether concerts, all the different aspects that you'd have in, within that entertainment complex. I don't want to speculate on what their real plans are, only to say they're business people. They're in this to make money. There is no way for this to make money and generate a return for them and to, for the people of British Columbia and Vancouver unless there's an expansion of gaming tables and slot machines. The next step for Paragon is to submit this proposal to the city. If city councillors give this project the green light, we could see this uh, urban resort, you could call it, in 2016. Kyle?